I was quoted $150 to deep clean this rug. And I said, absolutely not. I will do it myself. So if you're interested in an affordable and easy way to clean your rugs, keep on watching. This is very embarrassing, but here we go. This is how to clean your rug. You're gonna need a few gallons of water. I have a trash can that I will be emptying all of the ingredients in. We're gonna be taking some hydrogen peroxide and using a few teaspoons of that into our mix. A few pumps of Dawn soap. Don't judge my soap dispenser. I'm getting a new one because this one is starting to look real raggedy, but I know, don't say anything. And the last thing you'll need is your favorite essential oil. I'm using peppermint because I feel like it's gonna be refreshing uh, to smell. So just use as many drops as you like. And this is what the rug is looking like. Let's get this baby cleaned. Here's my husband helping me lift this heavy eight by 10 rug outside because I will be hosing it down and just dumping the solution on top of it. And I would hate to do that inside. So we're taking it outside. All of a sudden my toddler is really into this. She just wants to be swung in it, I think. And it's cute, but it's really dirty. And we're trying to flip it over to kind of shake it up a little bit. And she's all up in the mix, getting all of the contents of this rug on, on her. And she doesn't care. She's living her best life. I started by saturating the rug with water and then proceeding with dumping the solution onto the rug. And as you can tell, that was nothing. So I quickly learned that I needed a lot more than that. So I probably ended up making five times the amount that was needed and that was enough to cover my eight by 10 rug. Now, if you have a smaller rug, you'll need less. If you have a bigger rug, you'll need more. What I'm using here is a short, hard bristle brush and I attached that to a broomstick and now I'm just rinsing it as much as I can with the hose and then I'm going with that same brush and just kind of taking the water out of it as much as I can. This was the second most satisfying part of this process because you could see the dirty water kind of leaving the rug, but this was definitely the most satisfying. I had this very old carpet cleaner that still works and it was just vacuuming up all that dirty water. So satisfying, but so disgusting. I'm glad I'm doing this, but I did this until I felt like the rug was clean enough. Once I felt like it was dry enough, I hung it up onto our fence and it was directly in sunlight for many hours and i felt like this was the fastest way for it to dry and this is it and it's literally dripping water even still using the carpet cleaner to suck up the water but i'm very hopeful and now it's probably been about five hours of just sitting out there in the sun and it was completely dry we brought it inside again with the help of my very handsome uh, <laughs> husband. And as you can see, it's a little wrinkled from being folded over the fence, but it's fine. It has now settled. Don't worry too much about the wrinkles if you hung it up, it's gonna go away. I am now vacuuming just to get rid of any mist, dust particles or anything like that. And now I'm putting the furniture on top of it like normal, just to help the wrinkles come down a little bit faster. I'm letting my husband do the heavy lifting here and I'm supervising because I am doing a good job at that. And he's doing a good job at pushing heavy things. So there we go. We're just doing some adjustments and here is the final reveal in three, two, and one. This is something that I haven't done with this rug. I've always just kind of lightly vacuumed it. And of course it's still filthy. So it's very important to get it deep cleaned every once in a while. And although I know the visual difference is not that much, 
the feeling of it is just drastic. It's softer, it smells good, and I feel so much better about my girls playing on here. Incredible. I will definitely be doing this more often. So the rug is now clean, it feels softer, it just smells good, it smells pepperminty-ish, and it just feels good. This rug is one that we've had for probably like two years now. I bought it at Home Goods. they don't sell it anymore because I looked for it. Um, but it's an 8x10, it's huge, and I'm glad that I was able to clean it with that solution that I will have uh, linked in the description box below for you so that you know exactly what you need to do to clean your rug as well. It was very easy to do and I feel like even though the visual results weren't as drastic as I would have liked for it to be, I think that the fact that it's actually clean and it feels soft to the touch and it smells good is enough for me to be like, I will do that again. So I will definitely be doing that again. This rug is one that will be going into our office when we do find a rug for this space, I'm looking for an 8x10 or a 9x12 washable rug that does not have any like fibers. I want no hair. I want it to be canvas. I want it to be padded. I want it to be soft under your feet. I have some ideas, but if you have any that you think might work for my space, then um, comment it down below because I'm definitely on the hunt for one. But I hope you get to try this out with your rugs and I hope that it makes you feel like you actually have deep clean your rugs and that they smell good and they feel good. So if you enjoyed the content, then give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content like this and hit that bell notification so that you're notified when I post a new video and follow me on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Do that for me please. And then I will see you in the next one. Bye.